Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Randy Meyer. And more and more people are moving away from the concept of a traditional mainframe and moving that over to kind of an x86 architecture that is more flexible and replaceable, I would assume, but still mission critical. How does that work? So it is really cool, right? We grew up in the mainframe, or at least I grew up in the mainframe era where everything was monolithic and everything was all in one place. We're seeing more and more customers wanting to move that kind of an environment, but do it in the x86 world, where it's flexible, it's part of their converged infrastructure, where they get lots more choices in terms of how they deploy things. So that's part of what we're announcing here at Discover this week, is both for our nonstop business and for the Superdome business, we've now got two new products, Nonstop X and Superdome X, that allow the customers that were running those large scale nonstop applications that run payment systems and telcos and manufacturers, or running big workloads on Unix, moving those into the Linux world for order entry kinds of systems for manufacturing and doing that with these products called Nonstop X Superdome X and getting the mission criticality out of it. So I'm assuming there's two pieces there. Are you, are you talking about you, you're virtualizing the Unix environment and then there's also the mission critical component of how do you fail over parts that are kind of meant to be more disposable? Well, so there's, there's really kind of two pieces. So one, Let's take the Superdome X piece of it first. Some customers have decided, I want to run in a Linux environment or a Windows environment. That's going to be standard, and we add value to that with software like Service Guard that says, how do you fail it over, and how do you manage all those sorts of things? How do you manage virtual environments? But underneath, the hardware needs scale, it needs resilience, and it needs large memory, right? People are moving things in. So for example, a Superdome X, 16 sockets, hundreds and hundreds of cores running that application and up to 12 terabytes of memory. So imagine taking an SAP HANA environment and putting all those analytics that you used to have to run separately and doing that all in memory. People are seeing a thousand times improvement in the performance of these analytics. Things that used to take hours and days are happening in minutes and seconds right now. So how do you stay mission critical in, in the x86 environment? Well, so you do that with a combination of things. You do it with how you build the hardware. You do it with what you do in the firmware to catch errors. So there's a lot of errors that we take for granted that we catch and repair and, re and deal with in the older environments that in typical x86 environments, you pass those on through and it causes the system to crash or those sorts of things. We do the engineering work to handle all that. The other thing we do is we bring technologies like the crossbar fabric that was in the original Superdome. You bring that forward to say, this is how you get high performance, large scale capabilities that are there. So that's all in the Superdome space. In the nonstop space, you take advantage of the whole architecture that's been running for 40 years, parallel processing, parallel database, and you say, but I'm going to bring that to an x86 architecture, all bladed, spread the whole application out across thousands of blades if you want, but it's transparent to the user. Now are these things that, that the uh, companies who are deploying these types of solutions, they have to uh, rewrite their software? No, so again, take it in two parts, nonstop, completely source code compatible. The customers that have come in, we've already got them in testing, the ISV partners that have come in, they take their software, they compile it to the x86, and it runs. We've actually had them come in and say, wow, I budgeted three weeks for the test and it took two days, what do I do now? So, always love to hear those kinds of things. On the um, Superdome front, you've got customers that have said, well, okay, I've got an application that was written for Unix, perhaps, and I'm moving it into the Linux environment. Well, guess what? Very similar. They usually use an Oracle database or some other database underneath it. They bring those across, and they don't really have to fundamentally change the application because it's so similar in an environment. They just have to say, set it up in this world, use the right software, and off it goes. So you don't have to go rewrite your applications. You're saying, I'm making a deployment choice, not a rewrite choice. And so, obviously there are advantages to switching over to the x86 hardware, but what are kind of the, the bigger picture advantages of moving off of a, a Unix Superdome type solution into an x86 world? Well, so it really is customer choice. You look at this and you say, there's a set of customers that have been running big Unix environments forever and ever and ever. In a lot of places they're saying, I like that, I want to keep doing that, and we're supporting them doing that. If you want to leave your core banking system and keep running Unix because it solves your problem, cost effective, it's secure, all those things. We're going to support that for decades going forward. There's other customers that have come and said, I'm moving my whole data center to a Linux-centric model. Some of those things are scale-out, edge-of-network kinds of applications, really systems of engagement. 
but I've got these systems of record, these systems that run my business, transaction processing, all those sorts of things. They say, I don't get that from a bunch of rack and stack, small two socket machines. I've got to go and say, I get mission critical by consolidation, large scale, failover capability, all that thing. How do I go rationalize that with I want the way my world used to work but I'm going to do it in Linux. What's the very best I can get? Reliability, availability, scalability, all those sorts of things. How do I get that? That's what we're bringing to them. 